Okay, I'm making this video uh, as kind of an adjunct to something I saw from, um, from Amy um, that she referred to on her blog. This is called a bank robber's knot, and for obvious reasons, because it was used by bank robbers that wanted to get their horse away from the hitch very quickly after they'd robbed a bank. And it's, we're going to use the same technique on a pair of booty shorts. The only difference is this is like the railing, you know, on the side of a building or a bank. Well, we're just going to pretend that this horizontal bar is the horizontal part of your booty shorts on the side of your thigh. And we'll employ the same technique, which I'll demonstrate, you know, just using a pair of, of guys' underwear. So you're going to just take your rope like this your ribbon, you know, pretending that this is a, a ribbon you're using on your costume. We're going to throw it over the hitch like that and we're going to bring it through like this. Now like I said, I'm using a rope, but but this would be a ribbon in a performance. This is the uh, working end of the knot and this is the horse end because it goes to the horse. I'm going to take the working end of the knot or, or the ribbon or the rope and bring it around back like this and then just make a loop like this, put it through, and then we're just going to tighten everything around that, like this. Okay, so this would be the end that would be the horse would pull on, or it's also the end of the ribbon that's hanging down your leg. So this is going to be your, you know, sexy ribbon going down your leg from the side of your booty shorts. This is your quick release, so at whatever part of your performance you want to just take uh, the ribbon off your booty shorts, you're just going to pull, and it's going to come loose. So again, I'll demonstrate it one more time. You, you take your ribbon, we're using a rope, but this, this would be a ribbon. You just throw it over the hitch, or you throw it over the edge of your booty shorts. You're going to bring it through like this. Okay. So it's like, like that. Then you're going to take the short end around behind the long end, like this. Loop it. Bend it. Okay, and then just bring it through and then kind of just pull it tight, like that. Now, again, if you can sort of imagine this, you know, this could be... If this was a human body, this would just be the horizontal part of the booty shorts, and another person can tie your ribbon on you right backstage before a performance. And I'm going to demonstrate how to do that. Okay, so again, this is the end hanging down. It's very tight. It will not, actually won't go anywhere, but when you're in the middle of your performance, you just reach down for this short end, you pull it, and it, it comes loose. Okay. <coughs> okay, we're going to do this uh, same <laughs> Well, you know, this is very low production values. What can I say? <laughs> we do the same move with, um, sorry for the speedos I'm wearing. I thought I might, I might try to demonstrate it on a living person, but I couldn't get anyone to volunteer. We're going to pretend that the, this is the horizontal part of the hitch. So we're going to do exact, it's, you know, pretend it's a pair of booty shorts, but this is the horizontal part of the hitch, which is the side part. You do exactly what we did on the bar. You got your, your ribbon looped like this, and you're going to throw the rope over the hitch like this. Okay, and then pull it through like that. This, you got the short end and the long end. Take the short end, you're, you're going to pull it around like underneath the long end. You're going to make a loop here and, and pass it underneath here. And um, you're going to tighten it up. It can be kind of tricky if you're working with ribbon or rope. It's not really the right material. But we're going to tighten it. You see it's really not a true knot. It's kind of like a fake knot. Okay, so here, on the side of your booty shorts with the ribbon, this is a rope, but you don't pretend it's a ribbon. You've got the end, this is the end, the long end that hangs down the leg, and this is the short end. If you pull on the long end, nothing's going to happen. It's tight now. It's completely secure. But if you want to just strip it off and have it release while you're on the pole or in a performance, you just pull on the short end, and it comes completely loose. So um, I'll demonstrate that on my own self after I set it up. I, mean, I can tie it on myself, but I don't think I look as good as um, Amy's video. So I'll just set it up and, and show how it would work. 
Okay, so one more time. You're gonna um, get your long end and your short end. You're gonna throw it over like this. Okay. You're gonna bring this through like that. You're gonna take what's called the work, what a rancher would call the working end of the rope. You're gonna bring it around the horse end of the rope where the horse would be. And then you're just gonna loop it like that. And you're going to bring it through. And we're gonna we're gonna tighten it. It's a little bit of an art to getting the right amount of length so it doesn't pull through while you're tightening it. Okay, so that's your setup. Like that. And I'll show you how this works in a second. Alright, so this this is the same thing we set up before. I just you know, put it on. Again, you'd be using a ribbon, you wouldn't be using a rope, so it'd be a little bit more delicate than this. This is the working end, what the what would be called the horse end of the knot, and this is the pull end. So you know, this will be tight and secure, but as soon as you want to pull it through or strip it, you just pull on the short end and it comes loose. So that's another way you can tie a ribbon for a performance.